everyone, this is Huey. Those of you that have followed me for a while might remember him. He was part of my Highland adventure last year. This week a friend of mine's gone away and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to give Huey his first solo hack alone. Now when you want to start teaching a young horse to go out alone, it's really important to be decisive, you know, to have a plan. So the fact that she's gone away and I'm going to go and check her horses every day will give Huey the continuity and um, confidence in being able to go out because he'll know that the job that we have to do, which is just going to be about two or three miles, um, check the ponies and come home again. And hopefully after a week of that, he'll be confident to hack out alone. Huey's just come straight out of the field. I haven't done anything with him today. In fact, I didn't run yesterday either. So um, there haven't been done any preparation work, but what I have been doing is I have been bringing him in, just giving him a hay net, tying him up on his own, and just getting him used to coming away from the herd. As he's part of my native gang, um, he lives with about 10 other horses and ponies. So it's quite a big thing for a young horse to come away from them. Come on, Huey, let's go. Well, so far so good. I've just left my yard and he's a little bit wiggly, but he doesn't feel tense or worried and he hasn't called for his friends. So I'm really happy with that so far. I think what's really good about this is because I have a job to do, you know, I'm going to check my friend's horses. It changes something in me, you know, I'm determined, I have a plan. And so he's not needing to question what it is we're doing or he doesn't need to worry um, about where we're going because I made that decision for him. So that's what's gonna give him confidence. I've also picked the time of day in which I've come out for my first hack. So there's certain times of day, like school runs, um, people finishing work, you know, those times are best avoided when taking a young horse out for the first time because remember we're not trying to test them. You know, I'm not trying to test Huey here. I want him to be confident. I want to build his confidence so that he never has to worry about a decision I've made or a place I've asked him to go. Let's go. Past the scary farm. Boy Huey, good lad. It's all right. Good boy. 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 Good boy. Well done, Huey. Just gone past the scary farm. It's a little bit unsure. Mm -hmm. I needed to just push him on a little bit, but it's okay. This is the first time Huey's been into the village. He calls when he can see his own reflection in the windows. I've just checked my friend's horses and they're all okay, so now it's time for Huey and I to head back home. I try not to tell the cars what to do when I'm out on the road. I'd rather focus on just staying relaxed and happy. Sometimes I think if you start ordering the traffic about and they don't do what you want, this anxiety could then transfer to the horse. Huey just started to rush a little bit on the way home. I'm not worried as this is a perfectly natural reaction for his first time out.
who's only been out on just a few hacks in company before has been absolutely brilliant. We're nearly home. Huey's done so well. I'm really happy with how Huey got on on his first ride today. He was a little green on the way out, but so much braver on the way back, which is really all you can ask for from a young horse.